Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. This is a easel card, which is made using the supplies from the June Hobby Base Kit. So we had the theme of be happy, so it had bumblebees, nature, nice sentiments, stamps, all that kind of stuff, and it was all around this lovely kind of bee theme. So I've used the honeycomb stencil, bumblebee dye, don't worry, be happy stamps, this um, paper here from the Dovecraft Be Happy paper pack. <laughs> um, I've die cut, fussy cut, sorry, the stamps from the same um, stamp set. So lots, lots and lots going on here and I just really like it. I've used the craft card here from my own stash but this is the actual card. It was just a five by seven card like so and then I just scored it through the middle on the top one, popped it onto landscape and there you, you have an easel card. So that's the envelope it comes with. Even with that little flower there, it does still fit in the envelope perfectly, but obviously you would probably end up paying a little bit extra in your um, for your postage, because um, it is that little bit bulky there, but it still fits nicely in your envelope. So let's crack on. So I'm doing different um, colors this time. So I'm using black and gray, and I've done silver embossing. Silver? I'm not talking very well today. Silver embossing. So I've stamped the same stamps. Let me just see. I've got that at hand. Ooh. There we go. So that's the stamp set we got, which is the Be Happy. So I use the Don't Worry Be Happy sentiment, and then I've used this lovely flower or leaf there. So I stamped it four times and just used my silver embossing powder and heat set all of those and then fussy cut them. I do love to fussy cut, so yeah, this was fun for me. So that's that. I'm gonna go through these pieces in a minute. So then I've die cut three of the bumblebees, which was one of the dinky dies. Again, I'll share the box reveal um, up here somewhere now. So if you wanna see what we get, you can. So they're really, really fun. So they match nicely with my embossed leaves. And then that is the sentiment there. Don't worry, be happy, which again, I've heat embossed. So. That's all my bits and pieces there. This is a stencil we got that I'll be using um, and it is a Creative Expressions one, it's the honeycomb. These are great because they've got a little, um, you'll see it in a minute anyway, but I might as well get it out ready. Um, they've got these here, these little holes. So I've got all mine on a little ring binder, just hanging from my trolley, um, just makes them easy to get hold of. But they're really, really thick ones, so they're great for embossing paste and stuff. So handy to have. Gone through the stamps. Okay, so all the pieces you need. So. If you already have pre-made cards, you can use any size card that you want to be fair, but if you want to follow exactly my instructions, then obviously you will need a five by seven card base, which is this. If you don't have that and you're cutting from um, your 12 by 12 card or your A4 letter size, that kind of thing, you need a piece that is 10 by seven, okay? Then along the 10 inch side, you are gonna score. So it's already got, my one's already got the score line at five. So you will score at five inches, so directly in the middle. Then this is the piece that is gonna to fold to create that easel. So you wanna score here at two and a half, okay? So two and a half and five. If it's already pre-made five by seven, you just need to score at two and a half on this side. And then you will just burnish that piece over. And there you have your easel card. Okay, easy, easy peasy. So that's that piece. Then for all your mats and layers to go on top of this, you need, so for the bottom, so to create, if I get this one out, just to give you an example so we know where we are. So this very bottom piece, this green piece, is this black piece here. Now this measures six and three quarters by four and a half. I've decided to put this pattern paper on top because I we received all of the six by six Be Happy papers. I also have the 12 by 12 paper pad, so I decided to pull this piece out. So if you want to layer on top of that, then that's six and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm just dropping down in quarter inch in increments with all my mats and layers. Then to create this piece here, the gray piece is what is this craft card piece here. So this measures five by four. Then to layer on top of that, it would be this green piece here. So this is four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then the pattern piece, so this piece here, I'm using this one, which is four and a half by three and a half. Then for these two pieces here, so if I lie it flat, you've got these two green pieces. They are two and a quarter by six and three quarters. Okay, 
So that's all your bits that you need for that. So no more scoring or anything. So I can get rid of this, pop that over there. So now we can start putting it together. So again, easel cards are just a fun way to have, it's a very easy fun fold card. So if you're new to paper craft, new to card making, and you're just making your normal open close ones, and you want to start, you know, experimenting and doing more of a 3D fun fold style, I would always say start off with an easel card because it is one of the easiest things to do. So, and you don't have to change too much. So I'm just using my wet glue here and I'm just gonna start building up all my mats and layers. So here, that one is going to stick inside. It gives you a nice, um, let me just get that one lined up, a nice border. And then this one again. Just pop that one on top and then that one like so. So you can see there how that will look. And then that is going to be over the top. So I'm going to go and get these two stuck down. Okay, so that's that one now stuck down and that's going to sit over the top. What you can also do is in this piece here is put a white piece of paper and to write your message because on this one it's already plain. I can write my message directly onto that green but now I've got this patterned paper I would need to put a white piece there just to write my message so you can add that in when you like. So now we need to pop these two pieces on here. So again, they're going to sit within each of those panels. So you've got those two and a half inch, two and a half inch. You want to sit them in each one and you'll get a nice even border. So again, just going to stick those two down. Okay, so that is what you should have at the minute. So now we can go to this piece here. So let's just say this is the topper, that bit that's going to stick um, and kind of lift off. So you want to just, again, just stick down all of your mats and layers together. So as you can already see, it is dead easy to make. Um, just getting all those pieces prepared and then it's just a matter of popping them all together. The fun bit really is just doing the decoration. Well, all of it's fun, that's why I love doing card making, but you know what I mean, get this done and then you've got, uh, you can start getting all your other pieces together. So again, that one and lie that one down there we go so now that is going to lift up like so so the best way to do this is lie your card flat pop this over the top and turn it over okay make sure you get a nice even top bottom and sides there and then just grab a pencil and line it up with that black layer or whatever yours will be and just roughly just kind of do a pencil line down there now everything on this side here so the right hand side is where let's get a new glue this one's just on its way out is where you're going to pop your glue or your double-sided tape and then pop it over and just go up to the pencil side like so there we go and again just make sure you've got even sides if you've got a grid obviously use that I'm just going to eyeball this I can see I've got as best as I can get there. There we go. And then fold it over. Make sure it's all nicely stuck down. And then you can lift that one up and there is your easel. Okay. So I'm a little bit off there. You can see I've got less there. But because that is the bit lifting up, it actually doesn't matter. So there is the card done. So at the moment you can see it's not staying up because we need to make little raised detail pieces here all these embellishments they're all stuck down with foam those butterflies and they actually clip the card there to hold it in place so I'm going to get all these lovely leaves and my butterflies like so get these pieces here as well I just remembered I haven't brought my flower over let me just grab oh they're the paper flowers that we got in the kit and they go perfectly this kind of peachy color go nice with this paper as well so um, I'm going to stick this one down, my sentiment first, and just put it on some, again, some foam, double-sided foam pieces there, just to give it a little bit more dimension when it's all, um, when it's assembled, when it's up in its position. So this one here is going to go in the middle, and I think that's about right. Just looking through my uh, screen there. Sorry, the door keeps slamming because um, I've got every window open in the house at the moment because it is so hot. Wonderfully hot. I'm not complaining. It's glorious weather. Um, 
So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue just on one part of the B there, just so the wing is stuck down. So he, he's actually lifted off there on that, that rest of his body. Okay, so that's that one. And then the flower, um, I'm going to just rearrange a little bit, kind of bring it back to life. It's been a bit squashed in the... Uh, packaging there, there we go, and let's just grab a um, pair of scissors here and I just want to cut most of the wire off and all I'm going to do, is where I use the foam, is I'm just going to stab it through so you actually don't even have to worry about sticking it down because it's now been pushed through the foam underneath and you can see now where it just sits in place perfectly. That's that, then also um, we received all these embellishments, the same matching embellishments for the papers, um, and these are really nice. I don't have any orange, so it's really nice to have all these orange ones, but I'm going to use the very pale pink ones that are here, and I'm just going to pop, oh I just lost that one, <laughs> just flicked off, so I'm going to put one there, and pop another one just there. So again, that matches in perfectly, and there is going to be another one added down here in a minute. So now let's grab our bees first of all, a little bit more foam, I'm going to cut one of these squares in half, and that one, and that one, and then just pop it in the centre of the body there, you don't need to cover the whole thing, they're such delicate little die cuts and then take those backings off and then it's entirely up to you. I might turn one around actually because I had them both kind of flying. The idea was they were flying up to the flower there and meeting their friend kind of thing. So do you think silly things like that sometimes when you do your cards? So I'm gonna have one there and just kind of move this and decide, you might wanna have it really high up. You might wanna do really, like loads of stuff down here. That's entirely up to you. There is no rule with this. You can go as high back, far back there even, or you can be, you know, further down that way, I guess. So it's entirely up to you. So I think I'm going to do them the same as before. I quite like them kind of mirrored like that. So let's pop that one there. So now that card automatically sits in place. So I think that's really cute. Now with these pieces, I ended up cutting them back quite a bit because I ended up feeding them underneath each of the bees. So I've just cut that down and then popped a little bit of glue just on the end. So it's so light, I mean, I'm, confu I'm complaining now that I've got too much light, but uh, you can just see where I've put the glue there. And then just kind of slide it underneath the bee there, like so. And then I'm gonna do, um, let's do a bigger bit. And again, this one's gonna go that way. And there you have it. So again, that will fit into a 5x7 envelope, so it's great if you've got loads of those pre-made envelopes lying around. Um, I will share what you would need to use, um, what measurements if you're using your envelope punch board. Um, but there you have it. Let me just bring this one up closer. And you can see there, that beautiful detail, that lovely embossed sentiment. The back looks really nice as well. It's all nice and neat. And then obviously you can write your sentiment there, but it just clips in perfectly. You can see. So there you have it. So there's two really nice easel cards. Oh, I've just thought, I just forgot something. The stenciling. So, and I've done it at the end as well. Now this, you know, you might now go, oh my God, you know, what happens if you go wrong? Yes, there is that risk element of, um, <laughs> this is when you ruin your whole card. So you may want to do it differently to me, but I'm just grabbing the silver ink here. Okay, so I've just got a blending tool, silver ink. You don't have to use silver, but obviously it's going against, it's a metallic one because it's going against this black. Now what I've done is with the stencil, just stenciled, I didn't go over this piece here, this gray mat there. So you can see there, if I just bring that one in, can you see I've only gone up just around the edges there. This again, you don't have to do this at all, but I just wanted to show you how to use all the pieces really that you get. So I'm just kind of clipping it underneath that one there, ink this up, okay, and then just dab over it. And it's just a little accent, it's not, you know, it's just to kind of just tie in that bumblebee theme. And um, yeah, I think it looks really quite fun. 
So you can still add bits even when you've completed the card. Because it was like that. I'd done that card and I thought, oh, it needs something else. And then I you know, saw that we still had the stencil. So there you go now. So if I bring that up, and you can see, and that metallic is lovely when it catches the light. So again, I'm just going to go over this side here and do the same. So let's start it there. Okay, so that's that one. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit more. And I'm just going to do those two at the bottom very carefully, like so. There we go. Let's just get that out of the way. Clear up my mat in a moment. And again, just bring that all up. The metallic inks do take a little bit longer to dry, so I'm just treading carefully there. But you can see there how lovely that looks. So there they are. So I'm going to pop that one there, bring this one back in just so you can see it. But that's my two easel cards. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, if you do want to find out more about joining the Hobby Base Club, I'll share all the information below and I share it all over on my blog as well. You, um, we've now, it's missed, well not missed, the closing has closed to receive the July kit because you have till the 21st of each month. So now you've got till the 21st of July to sign up for the August kit. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Hope you like this one. Thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.